this is a sensitive question, but I've got to ask it. Uh, and I want to uh, ask it to both of you. You both endorsed Bernie Sanders now. Mayor de Blasio, you were in the race earlier, obviously, and you were progressive who was in the presidential race. There is one progressive left in the race. Uh, it looks like the moderates have all united around Joe Biden, or almost all, uh, Bloomberg's. So now I don't think he's in the moderate category, though. I think he's in the conservative category by himself. Um, so, the oligarch category. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Um, so after tonight, if the results are as expected, uh, do you think Elizabeth Warren should endorse Bernie Sanders? Well, let's start at the beginning. Elizabeth Warren is an extraordinary progressive leader. Uh, she's one of the, really one of the great progressive leaders we've seen in decades in this country. And uh, we all need to respect that and respect every candidate, by the way, has to figure out what works for them. She's put her heart and soul into, into building a campaign and, and she has to determine what's right for her. You know, one thing I think is just a common sense thing that's being talked about is we have two great progressives, Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. Uh, how about we all agree as progressives and they agree to pool their delegates uh, to ensure that uh, whoever's in the strongest position, uh, that there's that combined strength to win the nomination. I think that's a common sense move that everyone can agree on. Right, yeah, I, I, look, I agree with you on that, but I have to push back a little bit because Warren has now positioned herself as more of a moderate and, and she's not hiding that, she's not even doing it in a subtle way. And that does worry me as a, a progressive who wants progressive representation in the White House. Uh, for instance, today she used a right wing talking point regarding taxes in order to go after Bernie Sanders on Medicare for all. Are you at all concerned about how malleable she is in her political ideology when you know she's carried herself this way in this election? And no, I'm gonna be real with you, I'm not, and I'll tell you why. I mean, I've watched what she's done uh, over these years. It's been pretty damn consistent, and I give her a lot of credit. Uh, she's obviously been one of the great voices in this country in the aftermath of the Great Recession, uh, calling for a different America and a more progressive America. I, I understand in campaigns, people position, and, and you know, I, I think there's a, there should be limits on that, and I think Bernie is a great object lesson on it, the power of consistency. But I, I'm going to take a little bit of a long view here. Uh, what Elizabeth Warren has done has been extraordinarily helpful to the progressive movement. Mm -hmm. I think all progressives need to coalesce. But I also, look, I was a candidate. Uh, I understand, and I, and I would say to everyone who feels deeply right now, you, you do have to respect the process uh, an individual, a human being who happens to be a candidate is going through. And it's going to be, you know, over these next days, there will be important decisions to make. I want to respect her in that process, but I want to be purposeful also in saying we have two great progressives. There must ultimately be a common destiny, common use of those delegates, common goal that we do not want to see the presidency in the hands, certainly of a guy like Michael Bloomberg who will take us backwards, or of a guy like Joe Biden who I, although I respect him, um, I don't see change in America coming from Joe Biden. So the progressives have a lot in common, a lot we can do together. I don't think it's the moment to critique. I think it's the moment to give some space for everyone to sort it out. And let's see tonight's results. I think, you know what, uh, actions may speak louder than words. The, the people's voice is what really matters here. Right, so Shirley, I just wanted to make sure, because uh, I asked both of you, and especially uh, given that Elizabeth Warren is a, one of the best performing female presidential candidates we've ever had. Uh, we all want to be sensitive to, uh, of course, for any candidate, but particularly for her to let her make her decision in any time she feels comfortable with. Uh, but as a person who endorsed Bernie Sanders, <laughs> how much are you rooting for that to be a little quicker? <laughs> I'm rooting, I'm rooting hard. <laughs> I have tremendous admir admir admiration for for Elizabeth Warren, and you know, I, I, I really wish all the best for her. And, and and what I wish is that she would join up with Bernie, yep. and let them do their thing together. So, we would be a much stronger team if they would unite. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. 
So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.